Number 102. The molecule XCl2 has a dipole moment. Is X beryllium or is it sulfur? Okay, so we have a mystery molecule here, XCl2, and all they tell us that is it has a dipole moment. Now, any molecule that has a dipole moment always means that in that molecule somewhere there is an unequal distribution of electrons. Whether it's on the top of the molecule, the bottom, the left, or the right, it doesn't really matter. But on one side, there's an unequal pull of electrons towards whatever side that is. And when you have a dipole moment, you will always be classified as a polar molecule. So dipole, polar molecule. If you are non-polar, you have no pull. You have no dipole. So since we're looking for a molecule that has a dipole moment, we know that the molecule has to be polar. Now they give us two options. Well, we could either say that the X uh, element is beryllium, which is BE on the periodic table, or sulfur, which is S. Now in order to find out you know, dipole moment, bond polarity, molecular polarity, hybridization, right, molecular geometry, the easiest way to go about these problems is to just take a few seconds and draw the Lewis structure. Even though it's an extra step, you get to see it visually right in front of you and you can answer a lot of questions. It would be too easy to, you know, say, draw the Lewis structure and then find what molecule has the dipole moment. So usually, you know, when they ask you these questions, it's all reliant on Lewis structure. So, um, we got tons of videos on the channel just designated to helping you draw the Lewis structure. If you need more guidance, you could always check it out there. But for now, if you want, pause the video and see if your answer is, you know, your answer to BeCl2 by just plugging in Be for X and then SCl2. Let's just see if your Lewis structures match mine. So in this case, for BeCl2, beryllium in the center, surrounded by the two chlorines. And we're going to make a single bond between these guys. And the chlorines need six electrons to get that octet because it had seven valence. And then beryllium only had two valence electrons. So they are already being used for the uh, bond. So no lone pairs on the beryllium. And this molecule is done. When we do the sulfur one, sulfur is in the middle, surrounded by the two chlorines. Single bond. Those chlorines need a, you know, three pairs to get the octet. And sulfur had six valence electrons. It's using two of them to get the uh, bond. So there's four left over. So you need four dots or two lone pairs to get the octet. Okay, so it looks like the only difference between these two is not the atoms on the left or the right because chlorines are chlorines, but the only difference is that for sulfur you have these lone pairs and beryllium you don't have any. This is the difference between being classified as a nonpolar or a polar molecule. Now, you could always snap it out. Here's the acronym SNAP, SNAP to just make sure that you put together nonpolar molecules and polar molecules. If your molecule is completely symmetrical, that is a nonpolar molecule. And nonpolar molecules have no dipole moment. Asymmetrical or polar molecules, these will have the dipole moment. Now there's a, a uh, rule here that we can use to spot out a polar molecule. Now just know that if your center atom has lone electrons or the dots, it will automatically be classified as a polar molecule. So I go straight to the, the source, straight to the middle. For sulfur, I have the two lone pairs. I got two pairs of dots. I got four dots. Right off the bat, since those dots are in the center, this is classified as a polar molecule. And because it's polar, 
it has a dipole moment, the unequal sharing of electrons. But for the beryllium, this one doesn't have any. So that can't be, you know, anything about polarity. And if you do break it down, you know, if you try to get the symmetry, this is completely symmetrical. You have a chlorine on the left and the chlorine on the right. So this is nonpolar. And nonpolars mean no dipole. And for our question, uh, they wanted to have the dipole moment. And the dipole moment came from SCL2. So what was the X element? Yep, it was sulfur. And that is the final answer. Whoopee whoopee. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Uh, what'd you think? Thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. Keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you on your, on your tests and quizzes. And always keep learning. All right? We got thousands of videos out here for chem, physics, math to help you guys in your classes. We want you to do well. Thank you so much for being part of this community. And keep rocking on. All right? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.